hi besties welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to use crm tools as a virtual assistant majority of you have been asking me to make videos about this crm and today i'm going to make it so guys i'm going to be sharing my screen but before i share i want you guys to know that this is the third time i'll be creating this video and creating the tutorial because youtube keeps flagging that particular video because of the sensitivity that is actually inside this topic because for me to be able to explain this better i need to you know use some personal details and all that but using this video if youtube didn't flag this video <laughs> i'm going to try as much as possible to explain in the layman word so that you people can actually follow along and when i'm sharing my screen just you know just pay attention you definitely get the gist of what i'm about to show you because i don't know if they are going to flag this or not too but I hope they don't flag it so now what is crm as a virtual assistant let me explain to you crm is called customer relationship management you guys know and we have several softwares that are crm that people use as crm you get so what is this crm you can see the crm as a database where you store all the information of your client like one of the days whereby when you go to someone's office they need to tell you to write down your name in a sheet of paper and someone will start typing into their system or maybe compiling everything in, into google spreadsheet but this one is crm is a database where you communicate organize everything about your clients like see it as a database i can actually use phone as an example for example now maybe you collected someone's number and you save it on your phone which is the crm you can decide on that crm if you want to call the person if you want to text the person if you want to email the person if you want to send a message via whatsapp like any modes of communications so as a virtual assistant especially as a customer support because if you're a customer support you need to know how to use crm it is very very important so i'm actually going to be sharing my screen and be walking you through how to use the crm tools and if you know how to use one then you can navigate all that crm softwares that we have out there so without wasting much of our, of our time that is if youtube didn't flag this i don't know why i'm scared but if this actually fly you know let's dive into the tutorial because i'm scared right now let's go so guys we have several crm tools we have several ones if you actually scroll down you see upspot you see zendex spiceworx salesforce we have several ones so oh yeah i can see salesforce pipe drive we have several crm tools but if you're able to use just one crm tools you will be able to use the rest because basically they might have different user interface but if you can use one then you can use any other thing and as a customer support you really really need this you really really need to know this even as a virtual assistant because most companies use crm tools and you must also know how to use it that is why most job vacancy that you see they tell you must not use crm blah 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 but you can use one then there's no other crm tools that you cannot actually use so for the sake of this class we're actually going to be looking at upspot crm software and i want you to note that it is not your duty to create this account for your clients they already have it it is existing they only want you to manage it now the question is how can you use this crm tools as a virtual assistant or as a customer support or how do they want you to use it so now when you log into any crm or upspot this is actually what you're actually going to see can you see this is actually the user interface and i want you guys to note that this name they are not real these emails are not real they are just demo these phone numbers are not real. We are not exposing anybody's contact, anybody's email. They are just demo. They are not real. Just to teach you guys how to use CRM tools. So YouTube, we are not exposing anybody's email. We are not exposing anybody's number. If you guys get it. So now this is what you are going to see. Now, as a customer support, how do we use this? The first thing I want you to note is that for the CRM, we always want to do what? to add our contacts our client details inside the crm and how do we do this because let me let me do this so that i don't confuse you guys if you actually come here can you see when you click on contact you're actually going to come here that's actually how i achieved this particular thing and this is all the information of your client the demo information of your client you get it so now it is your duty as a customer support to actually update this so for example if someone call you and say, hey, hello, Joseph, how are you doing? I would love to make inquiries about your products, about, about your services. Now, the person that is calling you, obviously, you know that this person is actually a new customer. So, all you have to do is just to create contact here. And a particular thing will actually pop up now. Let's allow it pops. Then this is actually going to pop up. This is where you will be filling all your client 
details. Let me put it that way. Like I said, if you want to improve the email, this email is not real. You can just say j45 at el.com. Let's assume that's the client's email. That is when when you call and they be like, oh, thank you so much. Can I please have your name? And they say, oh, my name is, let's say, David. And they say, okay, can I have your last name? And they're asking you those questions. And you'll be like, ah, maybe they're trying to just get your information here and there. Basically, what they're just trying to do at this point is just to add your details to the database. That is why after maybe you've made inquiries from someone, you just keep receiving emails from them. It's actually because you've given them this particular thing. If the person actually call you, you can actually feel this information. This The information you're actually going to feel will depend on the type of information your companies want to get from each client. So it depends on each industry. Do you guys get what I'm saying? And also, if it's also via email, you know that when someone actually mail you, you will automatically have access to this, to this particular thing. You guys get it. Then you have access to their name, their last name, other details here and there. So once you fill all this information, this contact owner, we have several drop downs. You guys get it. So let's assume we have like three customer support. So you are we're actually going to assign it to whoever owns this contact. So if you are the one, you actually see your name in the drop down and you can just choose it. You guys get it. So now you fill all the information and you do what you click on create. So the moment you create, it automatically add to this list. You guys get it. It automatically add to this list. Let's allow it loads. Can you see it automatically add to the list here? That is so. If someone actually mail or calls, it is your duty to add them to the database. Now, can you see this status now? If you actually click on it, this is where you can actually choose the kind of person this person is. Like, okay, is he a new customer? Or is it an open deal? Maybe you're actually working on a deal before. Okay, open deal. Are you in progress? So all these status, we actually depends on your company. So for the sake of this class, let's assume that this person is a new client. I can just put new for this client. Like, okay, this client is actually new. Even those of you that are actually doing all these code callers for, um, what's it called? For all these real estate agents. They will put all the people you need to contact here. And once you are calling them, you can actually just put the status like in progress. Maybe someone responded, blah, blah, blah. They will actually feel it. Yes. I don't want you guys to actually get confused. So it depends on the type of industry you are working with and the type of things your company actually wants you to fill in this lead status. So for the sake of this class, let's assume that this is actually a phone company where I will sell phones to people. So now we can say this person is a new client trying to make inquiry. So I can just put what? I can just put new here. Then we can actually put all other details here, whatever columns they actually want to fill in that particular company that you are working with. Am I communicating, guys? Now, why do I love this CRM? So now, let's assume that someone called. Let's assume that another David called. And he was very, very angry like very very angry like hey you know what i purchased a phone by the time they deliver the phone is broken blah 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 he's very very angry now you already know that for this person to be complaining it means that this person is an existing customer that is why when you call any customer support and you have any complaints what would they ask you they'll say please can i have your last name can i have your name blah 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 the moment they're asking you that question what they're actually doing is they will just come to this search name let's say you say my name is david they will just come here, they will, they will search for David here. Can you see here? They will search for David. And now, can you see we have several David? We have several David here. That's why some customers are supposed to be like, okay, to confirm that you are the owner of this, can you please confirm your mail? Or can you please confirm the last two digits number? Blah, blah, blah. Because they just want to ascertain which David you are out of these people. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So basically what they are doing is trying to pull up your information online. So now, after that, you'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry, David, what is going on? So the moment you are talking to David, you will just, okay, let's assume that the person that actually called me is David Jordan. And I've already noticed that, okay, this David Jordan is actually this one because he already told me that this is his mail, this is his phone number. You guys remember, this is actually a demo mail. Nothing is real here and it's just for the sake of the class. So now, we already know. But for the sake of this class, let's just use David Smith. Let's assume it's just David. What I just need to do is just to open David Smith's database. I don't know what is wrong with this internet. We need to open this data, David Smith's database. How would we open it? Just click on David's name and something will pop up now. Let's allow it loads. So now this thing will actually pop up. Now, this is what we mean by database for David. Now, guys, can you see we have this call notes? We have email, we have calls, we have tasks, we have meetings. These are where we'll communicate with David. Some people even connect their WhatsApp here to communicate with their client. 
So for the sake of this class now, David is already ranting, complaining to us that our phone, his phone is actually spoiled when he received it, blah, blah, blah. So all you have to do is just come to this note, click on it, create a note, and something will actually, the note will actually pop up now. Let's give it a minute. Let's click, let's click a note. Yeah, can you see this is actually loading? It's actually because of my internet. So now, for David, what note? I can just put like a summary of what David discussed with me. A summary of what David actually discussed with me. So, I can even say, let me just be real, like, David complained about the phone seat, that it was already damaged when he received it, and he's asking for refund or replacement. Now, you've already created, so now what I will do is just create a note. The moment I actually create a note, you actually do what? Let me just allow this note. Can you see? You actually see the note here. And why are we adding this note? Because let's assume now that, okay, David, I've already complained. You've said, oh, David, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. I'll look into this. and I'll get back to you within the next 24 hours. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. You've talked to him like you investigate everything. Now you had this here, note about what you discussed with David. So now let's assume that you are trying to work on it or maybe something happened and you were unable to finalize it and David called back. And it was another person that actually picked that particular call. The first thing that customer support will also do is pull up David Smith's information and come here. Then the person will see your notes. Like, okay, I think David called earlier. Okay. It will actually, you will actually see the name of the person that actually put this information there, which is me. I'll be like, okay, I think Omo Omi is the one that's actually working on this particular deal. Okay. The person can be like, you know what, can you please be on your hold while I confirm? Maybe the person now wants to contact me, like, David, call, where are you at this particular point in time you get? So, that is why the note is very, very important. And also, if I have any updates, I can just come here, create a note, and add my update, like, this is what I'm working on at this point, pending item and all that. So, note is actually just to, you know, create a summary of what happened, where you are, so that you can always reference to it in the future. You guys get it. Now, another one is mail. You can actually send mail to people here. The moment I click on mail, you'll see what will pop up now. This thing will actually pop up. Can you see? It automatically generates David Smith's mail. Remember, it is not real. And the company's mail. So now, subject. You actually put the subject here. You put the body here. Can you guys see? So, you can connect with David via mail here. And when you send the email here, David will receive it in his inbox. And if David responds, you also receive it in your own Gmail inbox as well, and you also see it here. So at times, people might not even check their mail. They will just come here and check. Now, the question is, hey, how do I now know when David responds to me? Do I need to be clicking this one after the other? No. Just come to the notification here. You will see it. Or when you go to your mail, you will receive notification. And you can decide if you want to respond from there because it will reflect here. And if you respond from here, it will also reflect there. So you are, not losing, you are not losing anything at all. Am I communicating, guys? Another one is call. When you dial the number, it will automatically dial David's number and you can talk to David here as well. The company will actually, you know, connect this CRM with another tool. There's a way that it works and you can make calls via this database as well, especially for all you people, code callers. Those of you that work with real estate people, you guys get it. Another one is you can even schedule meetings with David here on the CRM. And another one is task. You can create a task for yourself here on the database for David. Now, you've already talked to David, like, okay, I'll get back to you. And you realize that, okay, I need to talk to the team about this. These are the things I need to do. You can just create a task for yourself. You come here, you click on create a task. When you click on create a task, all you have to do is just add a task for yourself. So for the sake of this class, I can just say, investigate. One moment, let's allow it to load. Investigate what happened. And get back to David. There's a light load. So now, this thing is actually asking you, like, when do you want to do this? Like, when is the due date? I can just scroll down, click on custom dates. Then I can now select, like, okay, by Thursday, I want to be done. Maybe you've already told David that you will get back to him in the next 34 hours, blah, blah, blah. Task type, it is actually on that to-do list. Priority, this is actually high, so you can select I. If, uh, if you understand how project management works, you understand this. If you don't, then I have a video about my project management tutorial. Just go and watch it. 
whatever is high is what you work on first. If it is medium, that means that it is not urgent, but you just need to work on it. And when anything is low, it means that it is not urgent. You can do it whenever you are available. So for the sake of this class, I'll click on high. Act activities assigned to, if you are the one that will do this, you assign it to yourself. If not, you assign it to whoever you want to assign this to. If you want to add a note, maybe so that when you are reaching out to people, you know what to actually tell them. Like any note you want to add here, just add it to notes, just add it here. And you do what? You click on what? You click on create. So the moment you create, now it will actually automatically add to the task here. I actually created some before, but it's automatically had here. Now the question is, if you have like three or ten people, you created tasks for every day. How will I know which one I need to work on, or do I need to keep clicking on each person's database to see which one I need to work on? No, and that is why I love CRM. Just come here to this particular place. You see these tasks. Just click on it. Just click on this task. A particular all the tasks will actually you know pops up. Then you can see all the tasks that you've added for everybody. Can you see? So now we investigate what happened and get back to David. This actually associated contact, this belongs to David. If it is a company, let's assume you always ask for company's name. You see that okay, David from this particular company. Reach out to manufacturing company, associated contact, you know, because we actually just created a few. So you see the name of that person also. So this is where you will see all the list of those you need to do their task. The owner of the like the the contact person or associated contact like that particular client their company last day you've contacted them you also see due dates to do all these things this one is june 26 this one is already due anything red is due date so which means that you need to work on due task first before the new one unless your project manager actually states otherwise or your client state otherwise so now this is david smith because he's actually you know the one that we've added so now I'll just click on this if you don't even know who david is when you just click on this particular task, it will actually automatically take you back to David database. So this will actually pop up. So you can also see the notes you added the other time. You can mail, you can call, you see, email call. You can even schedule a meeting and you see everything. So which means that you cannot mix one task for another because when you click on any task, it will take you to that person's database and you can continue your communication there. So as a customer support, basically what we do is had client contact, you know, had it, communicate with client via the CRM, email them, call them, you know, create tasks, schedule meeting with the client. That's what, why we call it customer relationship management, because you manage the client in that particular database. So basically, that is how to use a CRM tools as a beginner. Yeah. So guys, that is it about how to use CRM tools as a virtual assistant. Can you see that you only need to focus on the ones that actually consign you? So the more you grow, the more you use it for your company and all that, you know, you can now grow into learning all the automations, all the deals. But basically as a customer support, it is just your duty to communicate with the client in the database, to add and to set for contacts and to also communicate with clients and to also add tasks for yourself. So that is it. So if you find this helpful, Please do not forget to do us to subscribe, to like, share, and comment, and let me know if you find this very, very helpful. And I'll see you in my next video. You're welcome. Bye bye.